Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here bringing you a brand new project, Arietta of Spirits, a game that has officially released today, actually, for various platforms. I believe they are PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Steam, and Nintendo Switch. I am playing the Switch version of it, and overall this game is very interesting because it's, it's essentially a an action role-playing adventure game with very interesting twists and mechanics, and it's definitely one that I want to go ahead and share it to all of you on the channel. So before we officially begin, we're going to go to settings here and check out some things. So, oh, we can actually uh, mute this. No, uh, that's all fine. Controls, we have attack, we have roll. I'm not going to actually um, move any of these. We should be fine here. You know, you basically just move. Um, objective menu is to minus and you just attack and roll and interact. That's fine. Gameplay, that's nor. Uh, we might want to do actually f instant. I don't know about instant, but I'll do fast, very fast. Screen shake. Uh, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We'll go ahead and do that. Controller vibration. Uh, we don't need vibration, that's fine. Uh, award unlock indicator. Sure, that's fine. And then default, are you sure you want to? No, 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 no. Don't do that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do a new game. It's just our first file. If you're looking for the optimal experience that offers a fair challenge, if we're giving. Experience more health, plentiful health drops, less enemies, easier boss battles. You're familiar with the yeah, whatever, and then complete the game to unlock. Um, all right. Well, like pretty much what I always do is I want to go in an easier mode, but the problem is I don't actually know if you can change it when you are actually playing the game. Uh, I'm just gonna do normal. Let's do normal. Should be fine. All characters and events depicted in this game are entirely fictitious. Any similarity to actual events or persons? Oh, okay. Okay, I've never seen really a game actually do this. Uh, just, you know, saying that, you know, it's coincidental. Because that's actually most games. Like, a lot of games you'll see elements from other games or social media, pop culture, with a lot of different things, you know? And it's like, whoa, what the heck? Like, it just, it was a coincidence. But, like, no game actually mentions that. Except this one. Maybe a few others too, but it's pretty rare. How long still? Almost there. Half an hour or so. We can drive straight to the shore and take the boat from there. It's not like it's your first time here. Right. Can't believe it has been a year already. Yeah, it feels weirder for me too. It's gonna be the first time there without her. I'm sure the cabin needs fixing up a bit. Wouldn't want Grandma's place to deteriorate. I guess so. Cheer up, Mom. Now look who's talking. Weren't you just moping around a minute ago? Who remembers that? Hey, I think the water's cold. I think it should be fine. You know what? I'm sure everything will be just like before. I'm not really sure what they're talking about, but I guess, you know, they're doing that on purpose to confuse the player. Like, wait, what? Something about a cabin about a year ago since her, whatever that means. Here we go, Arietta of Spirits. Move around with the, okay, basically the sticks or the pads. You can reconfigure the controls, okay. So yeah, you can use the pad or you can use the stick. I think the stick is much better because uh, it's not just four directions that you can go to. Long trip, huh? Yeah, I'm beat. We've got some work ahead of us. Too bad it's my summer vacation, so I better just take it easy, right? Very funny, your mother was looking for you, said so she needed help with something. She should be in the cabin. Oh, I'd better go and ask what's up. I think I'm gonna start with some yard work. The garden looks like a jungle. Does it? Oh, I guess so. Grandma would hate seeing it like this. And it seems like it seems like there's no going to the forest side spring at the moment. A tree has fallen on the pathway, which we clearly can't go over, despite us looking like we easily can. I think I'm going to start by clearing it out. Gee whiz, it'll probably take me all day. Hang in there, Dad. Press minus to see your next objective in the objective menu. Uh, okay. Talk to mom inside the cabin. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go. Um, there might not really be any. Oh, is this a cabin? Uh, it looked like a cabin, but I guess not. Oh, here's a cabin. Whoops. Alright, where's mom? Here you are. 
Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, honey. Need my help with something? Yeah, I do. I just started cooking us dinner, and I was thinking I'd make us some apple crumble as a dessert, but we didn't bring any apples with us. Could you be a sweet and go pick some? The trees are quite far, but if you follow the trail west from the cab... I know, I know. I love a sour apple from the big tree. Yeah, your grandma liked those too. So I think they're talking about the grandma, like the whole year ago thing. You know, I think that's what that actually means. I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. So, we can roll right now. We can't attack or use A. Y or A are useless right now. But we can roll. Arietta, wait up. Where are you heading? Mom asked me to go get some apples for us. She's going to make apple crumble. Nice, I love that stuff. Oh, if you're heading there, you might want to keep your eye out for wasps. They are especially nasty this time of year, and the island is full of them. You should take this with you. A sword? You have received a wooden sword. Press Y to perform an attack move. Dad, I'll be 13 soon. 13? Really? Whoa, I thought you were a little older. Don't you think I'm a little too old to play around with this stuff? Maybe, but I don't want you to get stung. So if those pesky buzzers come after you, just give them a smack with it. It may not be sharp, but it is solid wood, so it should pack a punch. Right. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I remember when you used to run around as a kid, always swinging that sword around? You took your mother crazy. Good times, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll be right back with the apples. Okay. So we can attack now. That's pretty awesome. Nice. And then we can also roll, like I was saying. Uh, we can attack these bushes. Can we attack the squirrel? Uh, no, it just went hiding. Okay, so there's not really a purpose to attacking these bushes. I mean, you can attack them and clear them, but... There's not really anything in them. Here's a wasp. So it actually shows you the health that they have. Um, marked by two health point things down at the bottom. I still want to attack all the bushes though, just in case. But I really doubt there's anything. Yeah, see how there's like two health points? I hit them twice and then that's it. Um, I guess I should go to the minus here and see. Well, I don't have any of these. So you know what? Well, I'm not going to I can't even do anything. There's an items menu, but... Can't do much with that. Also, why are the wasps, like, humongous? These wasps are, like, the size of me. That's crazy. I thought they were going to be, like, in swarms, like, little small swarms. You know? Whoa, there was one hidden in there. Okay, well, the wasp basically is the easiest enemy in the game. It's pretty obvious. Because they don't really do anything. They just, like, approach it. Some, some fly a little faster than others, though. I don't know if I need to actually be attacking all of them. Oh, so if you attack, like, a wall? Oh, not a wall, a tree. It's like some recoil there, and then you get stunned there for, like, half a second. Did we make it? Seems like we made it. We also have five life award unlocked. What is that? Cold-blooded. Kill a butterfly. I kill a butterfly? Oh, now I feel terrible. Obtain the wooden sword. Alright. I didn't even see that I killed a butterfly. My god. Alright, uh, there's another bush over here. I guess I'll hit it, but... Oh, there's another wasp right there. I mean, if there was, like, an experience system, then it would be, it'd be cool to, you know, fight all these... That's why I think I shouldn't even be doing this. What the hell? I can't chop this... Or not chop. Cut this giant bush. This way to the apple trees. Does the sign literally say that? Who makes a sign like that? <laughs> this way to the apple. This way to the one thing that you're looking for in this game right now. What a coincidence. Okay, we'll go down. I mean, we should almost be there. There's a lot more wasps here. It is actually fun hitting the bushes and killing the enemies, even, even if there actually is no reward. Um, hold on, before I go that way. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else. Okay. Just making sure. Why does this wall look different? Right there. There's like leaves and stuff up on the wall right there. I don't know. Alright, more of them. Okay. And there's nothing on that side. This is fun. 
just walking around killing wasps, you know? <clears throat> How far is this freaking apple tree? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, what? Oh, we made it. Of course they're at the very edge of the world, or edge of the land. The big tree in the middle has always given the best apples, but how am I going to reach them when they are so high up? Roll into it. Like Zelda. Like Zelda games, you know? Maybe with enough force I can make some of them fall. There we go. That was just my assumption and it worked. That did it. Is, it, is that all I needed? I guess so. I mean, I don't think I can knock these down. Alright, well, I got them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. It's a big wasp. Uh, sorry, I didn't know you guys had a hive in there. Press P to perform a roll. Rolling is useful when trying to dodge incoming enemies from... Or, sorry, incoming attacks from enemies. Uh, okay. Get over here. Don't go off screen. Or not off screen, off range, or whatever you want to call it. Oh boy. Where you at? Yeah, that's right, get over here. Okay, this wasp was like really easy. This wasp queen, you know? One hit away. Oh man, I gotta. Jeez. No, he actually hit me. Damn it, that's the first hit I've taken. First damage. I could have beaten this boss without taking any damage. Oh my god, he actually hit me again. A ward unlocked. I beat the boss. I beat the first boss. That was close. Better go back to the cabin. Yeah, definitely. Please warp me back there. Seems like it is going to warp me back there, which is amazing. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. I'm back. Got the apples. Thanks, hon. Oh, you got plenty. This will only take a minute. Go and tell your dad that dinner's ready. Sure. You might be at the garden up there, or... He could... Oh, what the hell? Can I... Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I'm assuming he'll be down here, then. Figured as much. Give me just a second. Oh, what the hell? He already did it. Phew. Damn, that took a long time. Hey, you're back. Those wasps give you a hard time? Nothing I couldn't handle. Dinner's almost done. Yeah? Let's go and set the table. Everything okay, dear? Yes, it's just... I've been to this island every summer of my life, yet it's the first time here without her. That empty chair is almost more than I can bear. This all just brings back so many memories. I swear I can still feel her here, yet when I turn around to see, she's not there. Not anymore. Mom. I miss her so much. We all miss her. It's expected that this visit will bring up some emotions, but I'm sure your mother is smiling down on us and is really glad that we have carried on this tradition. I guess so. Thank you. It'll get better. It's been a long day with the traveling and all. Maybe we should get some sleep. Everything will look different tomorrow. Sure. Well, I guess it's fair to say that that's the whole, like, general intro part of the game. Where we learn the controls, we learn a little bit of pretty much everything. 
but I know there are going to be more mechanics and features introduced to us slowly but surely. There are more things on the menu that are still grayed out, as you know. Someone's speaking my name. Arietta, again. Hmm. Whatever could that mean? Who is that? Oh, wait, that's me. My bad. I can't move, though. Now I can. Now I can. I can hit the bushes still. Let's see. Bush. I'm pretty sure there was only one way to go, so I am going the right way. I mean, I should be. There's like electrical barriers behind me or something. Do I have to just like fight them all? Oh no! No! Please! What the heck? There's a random meteor coming! That was a direct impact on me. Oh. Whoa. I got some special powers, I think. I'm pretty sure. Arietta. Wake up. Finally. Who's talking? Here. Huh? A, a ghost? Shh, not so loud. We don't want to wake your parents. I can assure you I'm not a ghost. Although I understand my looks may suggest otherwise. I must be dreaming still. I'm afraid you're wide awake. Unfortunately, the situation has dictated that I reveal myself ahead of time. Huh? What do you mean? Arietta, I have known you for a long time. Although you haven't seen me before, I have been hiding in the shadows for most of your life. I have waited many years for this moment. Listen carefully. I have something important to tell you. My name is Argo. I come from a realm that exists in parallel to the world that you know. It is called the Spirit Realm. Up until now, it has been completely invisible to you, as it is to all others. For eons, my kind have served the humans as guides, working together, helping those who have perished and gotten lost, becoming spirits, trap echoes of existence, unable to find their way forward. I have given you the ability to perceive the spirit realm around you. By binding my energy with yours, you are now what my kind calls a bound, a human that is bound to their spirit guide, which I am to you. This is crazy. Realms and spirits? So, do you mean like ghosts? If you want to put it that way. The spirit realm is like a veil, resting on top of the human world. When a human dies but cannot move on to the afterlife, they get caught in this veil. Their energy gets trapped and thus becomes a spirit. There is always a reason as to why one ends up this way. An unresolved matter from when they were alive, or the inability to realize one's unfortunate fate. Our job is to help these spirits move on. Okay, let's say I believe you, but why do you need me? Can I just help these spirits or whatever by yourself? My kind only ever exists as ethereal beings, formed out of pure energy. We do not possess a physical body, not even in the spirit realm. Therefore, it's impossible for us to make any true difference to the surrounding world. You, however, as a bound, now have the means to interact between both realms, the human world and the spirit realm. Our job is to seek out and guide people like you, who we deem fit for the task, and you have displayed a great deal of courage and righteousness, traits that we value throughout your life. Especially so for someone as young as yourself. Yet, it is very uncommon that we grant this ability to anyone until they've come of age, but something has come up. Arietta, there is someone who is in dire need of your help. Who, is it my grandma? You know, that makes sense, because she like passed away, but maybe didn't make it, so like in the veil or something. She is waiting for you on the pier. Why did you... I didn't press Y right there. Oh my god, it is you. I think it's you. 
Grandma? Arietta, darling. Grandma! But how? You... There was a... You're... Dead? I'm quite aware of it, dear. That'll be too sad for me. It was just my time to go. Death is an, is an inevitable part of life, and I've already made my peace with it many years ago. Living as long as I have, you start to reflect on things. Grandma. It's because of your new friend that we got to meet once again. That, um, strange-looking thing. It's Arco. Arco! Or Ace. A-R-C, I think it was filling it out. And who are you calling strange-looking? Grandma, why are you here? Shouldn't you be... I haven't been able to move on just yet. You see, I have a promise to keep for your mother. Over a decade ago, I promised to leave her old family a ring. Just like my mother once gave it to me. Your silver ring? That's right. The silver is from the very same silver mine that's located on this island. It has been in the family for ages. During my last days here, it was lost, and I didn't have a chance to come back for it. Until now. I searched high and low and finally managed to find it. It was just lying on the ground at the forest spring. Or forest size spring. I've got no idea how it got all the way up there. Yet, as soon as I reached my hand out in an attempt to pick it up, these terrible beings came out of nowhere and surrounded me. I was so frightened that I ran back here and left the ring right where I had found it. It was then that I met Arco. Those awful monsters must have been after the ring too. Hmm. I might have an idea of what those so-called monsters actually were. It's uncommon that they would react like that to a ring, though, or any object for that matter. I am telling you, they came straight for it. But thank heavens for that, since I managed to slip past while they were distracted. Maybe we should go and see if it's still there. If what you think is true, I'm interested in seeing this ring myself. So, for a whole year you've been here? A year? What are you talking about? I've only been here for a little while. I, I think. Don't worry, Grandma. We'll get that ring back. I don't want you to get into trouble over me. Don't worry. I have Argo here to protect me. We'll be back before you know it. Argo, let's go. Yeah. Please, just be careful. Finally, we get to play. Uh, some rather long cutscenes there. So, I need to go... Would it be this way? What's over here? Forest High Spring. Yeah, it definitely is this way. Do I have anything else? Oh, by the way, yeah. You can return to the last checkpoint. Cool. Good stuff. I think the game actually saves automatically, I'm pretty sure. I still don't have, hmm, any of that unlocked. Okay. Are there going to be wasps over here? There might be. Yeah, there are some wasps. Should be pretty simple to deal with, though. <clears throat> they only take two hits. I guess I can stop attacking bushes by this point. It's, oh my god, I did not see this thing, like, at all. Those things are tougher, they have 3 health, and they actually do a charge attack at you. I was definitely not expecting that. Oh god, here's another one. Almost hit me. I can also just, like, leave them behind, because there isn't... Like, oh, they're actually very accurate, by the way. But yeah, what the hell was that? Dude. Okay, I got some life, that's good. So I guess if you do get hit, then you actually should be hitting enemies so you can get some health. But if you're at full health, there's less incentive to actually fight enemies, it seems. I don't know if bushes also have hearts. They do. They actually do. Okay. So that's why maybe I should be leaving the bushes. Yeah, let's just, okay, let's see how it kind of goes if you don't fight them. I mean, I guess if they're in the way, sure. But I'm just not really sure. Wait a minute, doesn't it just like loop around? I think it loops around. Oh yeah, definitely. That just kind of goes around. Okay. Well, let's, uh... See what we can find over here. I think it just wants me to keep going to the right. 
It's a really big area for sure. Hmm. But again, like I was saying, there's no incentive to fighting enemies in this game. At least maybe as of now. Maybe later we'll unlock something that they have drops of something. Uh, okay. The echoes of those who once lived are not the only inhabitants of the spirit realm. And I'm not talking about my kind either. There actually exists many different ethereal entities. Some of them are friendly, even helpful in some ways, although that's rare. But then there are the malevolent kind. We call them roamers. They are a vile race, constantly moving from one place to another, seeking to absorb energy from anything they may come across in an attempt to grow more powerful. And it's bound you will be their target now too, I'm afraid. The roamers use the energy they absorb to multiply themselves, and that's why their numbers are constantly rising, like a disease spreading through the realm, spirit realm, soon affecting everyone. One of our most important tasks has always been to keep them at bay. I had no idea. So these roamers are the monsters that Grandma was talking about, and they are now all over the forest. Is there any way to defend myself against them? Hold out your wooden sword. In its current form, it will be completely useless against them, but I can use my energy to awaken its full potential. Whoa, what happened to it? Your wooden sword isn't just any old toy. It's actually quite special. It is something we call a conduit. Conduits are special artifacts that function as links between the realms, connecting every level of existence to another, be it human or spirit. The bond you share with it can be used to our advantage. Although, to be honest, it is not the most powerful conduit out there, but it's powerful enough to make it possible for me to direct my energy through it and enhance every strike you make with it. Any Roamer unfortunate enough to get caught in the blaze will most definitely feel it. Conduits are hard to come by, so take good care of it. Besides, Roamers are always looking to get their hands on one. I've seen you swing a sword many times before. Whether or not, you are more than capable of handling with it. With, your, with it. Well, yeah, but swinging a couple of angry wasps is a different thing. You need to trust yourself more. Give it a try. Okay, here it goes. Your wooden sword has been turned into a spirit sword. Now you... Have the means to defend yourself against the roamers. Nice. I know you want to help your grandmother, no matter what it takes. Remember, Arietta, we're in this together. The only way for us to stand up to them is to combine our strengths. So you make that sword swing, and, and I'll make sure every hit it lands counts. Right. And please, call me... Oh, really? Okay. I mean, that's the first time we... I thought you were going to go by Arietta the whole time. Alright, are there going to be roamers in here? There's a random crow that just flew right up there. Alright. Hopefully this thing does more damage too now. What the freaking hell? Whoa, that actually hit me? Oh, I guess it's the trail. The trail is also deadly, I suppose. But again, is there really a need to fight enemies? Because I really feel like there isn't. You don't really get anything. We haven't unlocked these things, whatever these are. Uh, I'm sure we'll unlock them soon. Okay, so you can't just dodge past. Dodge is not like a an absolute dodge, you know, if that makes any sense. Like some games, if you dodge and roll through stuff, you're actually immune to like everything. There's a charge bat right there. Hmm. Where am I going? It kind of sucks that there's like no map, at least from what I know. Also, we've gotten more awards. We are now at 5 out of 29. Come about, obtain the spirit sword. Defeat the wasp queen. Okay, cool. Oh shoot, I, thought, I didn't know there was a wall right there. Damn it. Yeah, as long as you just like bait them, then you should be fine a lot of the time. Wait, isn't this where I came from? Wait a minute, I think it actually is. Hold on. Wait, no, 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 it's not, no, it's not. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I can't. Oh, it was a cutscene, that's why. Who the heck is this? Hi, friend. Lots of roamers out tonight, don't you think? Not safe, not safe at all. You'd better get inside while you still can. Something ominous is in the air. 
Wait, you're a bound, aren't you? I, uh, I guess. Great. Tell you what, come and find me tomorrow and we'll do some business. You and me. The name's Midri, by the way. Oh, but now I got a scoop. Okay. Certainly not safer tonight. What, what was that all about? That was a Mididarian, one of the ethereal races that inhabit the spirit realm. They're friendly entities who work as sort of merchants in the realm. They often use bounds as mediums to bring them whatever they might want at that moment. And it's usually well worth it. We should definitely track them down once we get the chance. And just when I thought this night couldn't get any weirder. Alright, well. We'll just, uh, we'll just keep going, for sure. Come attack me. There we go. Oh my god. Dude, that freaking hitbox is so... Oh, man. That's like... Okay, we, gotta, we gotta kill this guy. See, I can't get close because... The thing is actually gonna hit us. Okay, here I actually do have to defeat all these enemies. I'm gonna run into some major problems. If I don't. There we go. Do you want to hit these for a heart, though? Uh, we'll just go past you. Uh, can I go this way? No. Looks like I could, but no, I can't. Also, the game is actually pretty linear. Like, in all these rares, there's really only one way to go, I've noticed. This is a boss. Hold on for just a second. Look. See it? There's something shiny on the ground. That's Grandma's ring, just like she said. And no roamers in sight. Let's grab it all we can. That seems odd. Why would they just leave? Maybe Grandma got it wrong and they weren't after the ring. Huh? Oh, great. What is this humongous jelly thing? What is that? Ah, it's one huge roamer, I can tell you that much. Oh, no. It's absorbing energy through the ring. This is bad. It can do that? No time to explain. Ari, what, what, what we... Oh my god. What is that? All, 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 all wrong. But if we leave now, it only gets stronger and starts to multiply. But I'm afraid it might be out of our league already. This is definitely not the way I had planned this night to play out. You make the call. Given the circumstances, we're treated as a good plan as any. Yeah, but risk losing the ring? No way. Trust myself more, right? Okay. We are taking it down. Oh man. Here we go. Uh. Okay, I'm not sure how to hit this thing. Oh, now, now, now. Oh, I see. It has its moments where it, like. Yeah, you definitely want to roll here. It's actually really easy. Unless it gets harder, we'll, we'll see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're getting into some, some more difficult phases, you can say. That's halfway there. Oh, man. And then we got three hit points left. Two hits left. You're gonna make some more enemies spawn? Yes, you are. Freaking hell, it's been the little guys that have actually been hitting me. I can't hit you! Oh god, that was close. That was very close. We got this, we got this. Don't make more babies spawn. Damn it! Jeez, the babies are actually brutal, man, because they charge at you. What the hell? Wait. Oh, you have to kill the babies. Oh my god. He doesn't get into that phase until you kill his babies. God, dude. This is real brutal over here. I wanted to charge at me. Because if I get close, he's going to charge at me. I know how this works. There we go. There we go. Damn it, I missed. 
Got him. Oh, man. Down to one life. Uh, that was a little... That was a little what the heck. I don't even know how to explain that. You found something. No idea what it is, but you better take it anyway. Sure. Got the ring. Good job. Hey, you handled yourself great. You had it in you. These rumors were probably drawn here because of your grandmother. She was in more danger than you ever you can imagine. Yeah, definitely. But in the end, it seems they found the ring more interesting rather than her. Strange there were so many of them in the forest, though. I wonder where they crept out from. Hey, we can talk about it later. Let's get back to the cabin. I'm sure Grandma's eagerly waiting for us to return. Yeah, let's go. We managed to get it back. Really? Bless you. Now, come morning, give it to your mother. And don't tell her anything about this. She worries too much already. What will I say? You're a clever girl, you'll think of something. Yeah, just say you found it out there while you were exploring or whatever. My time to go. Please don't. Or you know I have to. Grandma. I'm going to miss this place. And all of you. The cool breeze of my cheek. And when it comes to your new ability. Marco told me all about it before. Do whatever you see best. Listen to your heart. I love you. I'll be watching over you. Please. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry I got you mixed into this. It's all my fault. But for what it's worth, I'm sure everything happens for a reason. Grandma! Goodbye, Arietta. Goodbye, Grandma. That is so sad. That is so sad. I love you. She's gone. Is this a dream? Can I wake up now? I'm really sorry. This all must be too much for you. After I came into contact with your grandmother, I made a choice to bring you to her. She was against it, as she knew what it would mean. But because of you, she was able to move on. No, it's... I'm okay. I'm really glad I got to see her one last time. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I would never have been able to help her. What happens now? You should go back to sleep. You might want to take some time to process all of this. Yet, yeah, there is one more thing. Like I told you before, we only share our powers with humans who we deem worthy. But what you also get to choose. The power that I have granted you can be unbound if you wish so. It is a great burden to be carried, after all. The relationship between a bound and their spirit guide is always a two-way street. Your newfound ability is only active when we are together. Should you ask me to, I will release myself from you and everything will be just like before. But the truth is, we need as many in this as possible. The number of roamers is rising faster than ever. That puts everyone in danger, and the way you handle yourself tonight is nothing short of astonishing. Take your time to think it through. I... I should go back to sleep. Alright, I'm going to end it here, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.